Hey guys, I'm Alex and this is Finally Functional. In the last video, I demoed walking, running, jumping, and walking backwards. This video is a continuation of that one. I made some more improvements, I did some more testing, and we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's get started. But first, there's an event going on next week. It's on July 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lucas from Lucid VR, who's making do-it-yourself VR haptic gloves, and Spatial Ape, who hosts weekly virtual VR trade shows. They collaborated to make a do-it-yourself VR expo. So it's completely virtual. And if you want to join, you'll need an Oculus Quest and you can go to SideQuest and download Spatial Apes app. The details will be in the description and in a comment below this video. Again, it's on July 1st at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be there. Lucas is going to be there. Other people are going to be there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see you guys there. First up, I wanted to see if I was heavier, if the VR shoes would still work. I weigh 170 pounds. I found the heaviest item in my house that I could think of, a punching bag, and here I am failing to lift it. It weighs 65 pounds. It was awkward as you can imagine, and my funny faces probably say it all. Carrying that much weight in front of me made it much harder to walk, but I managed to do it okay. The shoes still rolled like they did before, I just think I couldn't balance as well, so the shoes themselves seem fine. I also tried carrying a 50 pound bag of cat litter, which was less awkward to carry, and the shoes seemed fine and functioned just fine. So it seems that for at least walking, the VR shoes are fine for up to 235 pounds. I just couldn't balance very well, and apparently I need to go to the gym and just get more swole. I think a much better test would be just to have a heavier person use them, so maybe sometime in the future. Okay, so for the improvements, one is there is a piece of cloth here now that I've stapled to this foot flap piece, and that is to muffle the noise so that it doesn't make a loud like slapping noise every time my heel comes back down. It should muffle the noise, make it a little bit quieter. Another improvement, you can see that this one is shorter. It's gonna fit my foot better. This one was a little bit too long, and with it fitting my foot better, I think I'm gonna be able to more easily tilt the shoe like this which means that the stoppers in the front here and the stopper in the back here i'm going to be more easily able to engage them okay you'll see that later and then another improvement is the a fix for what we saw in the last video where the one of these rods one of these axles came out a little bit the set screws that are in these wheels I mean, there's a set screw there that's supposed to prevent that from happening, but it, it didn't prevent that from happening. So what I ended up doing on the new shoe is I put these caps over the ends so the axles can't come out, and I got rid of the set screws, so I eliminated some parts. And one little thing that I discovered is if I loop the strap like this, it's much easier to pull it a lot tighter than if I loop the strap like I did in the last video. Just a little thing, but that's it. So the foot flap, the caps that go over the sides here, and making it shorter and making it just easier to make to adjust the length in general. Those are the main improvements. Here's another demo after making those improvements. I don't really hear the slapping sound anymore while walking. Again, the idea is that with the shoe being shorter, I can tilt it and the stoppers on the front and back will stop my feet from moving. You can see and hear that happening here. Here's running again. I speed up and slow down a few times here just to test how fast is comfortable. I think most of the time I'll be walking and occasionally going to a jogging pace. The VR shoes being shorter definitely helped with balance while running. Oh, shoot. It 
still louder than I'd like, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I normally wear earbuds while I play VR anyway, but it may be noisy for others while playing multiplayer games. You guys saw how the rug bunched up while I was running and may have noticed that it moves slowly even while walking, so that's an issue to solve. Another issue it seems is that the bottom of the rug is wearing out. There's all this white powdery stuff under the rug and the underside of the rug is showing visible signs of wear. I think I need a different one. I tried putting one of these anti-slip pads under the rug, but it actually made the problem worse. So I'm happy with these VR shoes. While running, they're a bit noisier than I would like them to be, but I don't find that to be a big deal. I'm definitely going to use these in the near future to play some games. And maybe I'll introduce that spring mechanism I had before. Maybe that could be a little bit quieter. Or when I add a motor back in, maybe the motor can just be in charge of braking the shoes, not really helping the user. Then a smaller motor could be used. So lots of possibilities in the future, but I'm pretty happy with these. Long term, I'm gonna have to replace the rug that I'm using because you guys saw it's kind of wearing out. I'm gonna keep using it for now because I have it and I'm gonna see how long it lasts. And then you saw how the rug can get bunched up and it can move over time. For now, I'm just gonna weigh it down to make sure it doesn't move. But long term, I'm gonna try to fix that. I'm thinking for the support rig, I'm gonna try to do a support rig that doesn't require bolt into the ceiling. And part of that might be legs that come down so like one of those portable pull-up bars or one of those stands for a uh, punching machine where it has bars on the ground or it has legs, those legs could come down and hold the rug in place. So I think that could be solved, but I'm going to need a more durable rug. So I'm going to look into that long term. For now, it's okay though. So thank you for watching. Next video, I'm going to do a bit more testing, compare these with carpet sliders, and I'm going to have my wife try them out. And then after that, I'm going to make a support rig that should work really well with these. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.